And then, Snoozer's walking in the street. Maria Von Fuzzle has just won the Fuzzleland mayor election. Ta-da-da-da-da! Da-da-da-da-da! Hello, three cute little fuzzles. I am Snoozer. What are your names? Cotton. Candy. Dimitri. Okay, I know it doesn't fit. Cotton and I are identical twins. If I had been born first, then I would have been Cotton. Here we go. You stole my name, Cotton. How did I steal your name? It's a name. The raid is starting! And now your mate, Maria Von Fuzzle. Thank you. I waited six hours for that. What am I doing with my life? But a garbage monster comes down the road. I am the garbage monster. I know who you are. I read about you in the newspaper. You left it on the ground, litterer. How dare you point your trunk at me? I've got a secret. I'm not really a trash monster. I am Dr. Devious. <laughs> I have a secret too. I am not just Snoozer. I am Bad Snoozer, the greatest superhero of all time. You're too late. The world record company is already on their way. Fuzzleland City is about to be declared the messiest city of all time, and I will be given the award. But you aren't the Fuzzleland mayor. Wrong. I hacked into the voting booths and I rigged the election. Look. Breaking news. Maria Von Fuzzle has not won the election. The results have changed at the last minute. The new winner is Dr. Devious. <laughs> How devious of me. So tonight, I will be declared mayor and winner of the award. Genius. You're... Hey, what are you doing? Are those laser eyes? Don't vaporize me! No, you silly goose! I secretly recorded you admitting to your crime, and I just sent the files to my friend Checkers. Just got the files, Snoozer. Now to play them on TV. Sending file to FNN News. Hold on, folks, hold the phone. We just received an anonymous video recorded just about 30 seconds ago that changes everything. Let's watch it together on air. I hacked into the voting booths and I rigged the election. Oh, no! Dr. Davies rigged the election! It appears so, Jen. It appears so. You Zoomers always recording everything? I'm not a Zoomer. I'm Snoozer. <laughs> Dr. Devious, you are under arrest for pollution, littering, and committing voter fraud. Drat! Can I at least get my award before you lock me up? Oh no, you are not going to prison. You are sentenced to community service. You will clean up this mess. No, no, no. And Dr. Devious cleans the city. Snoozer helps too. And by the time the World Record Company arrives, Fuzzleland City is only the second messiest city. Whoa. Looks like crime doesn't pay. That's because Bat Snoozer was there. That's true, Snoozer, and it's a good thing that Bat Snoozer was on the case. Pollution and litter are no joke. Hey, what do you think about doing some actual good? What do you mean? Like Bat Snoozer in real life? I get to save the world? Something like that. Maybe not that dramatic, though. But I think this would make a great lesson for the Fuzzleland school, too. But what are you talking about? Recycling, cleaning up, and volunteering. Ooh! That will be a lot of fun! Well, great, Snoozer. Get your stuff and get ready, because we are off on another reading road trip.
Check, check. Recording. Oh, I almost forgot! Recording! Okay then, snoozer. Ascending in three, two, one. And we are off. Auto pilot activated. So, where are we going? Is it somewhere about recycling? You're on the right track there, Snoozer. We are going to a place where we can play our part to help protect the Earth. The whole Earth? How are we going to do that in one day? Checkers! I finally finished cleaning the yard! How much of the Earth is left? 99.9999999995%. Not the entire Earth, Snoozer. At least not today. Now we're going to help a community out. There are entire organizations dedicated to gathering people together and helping protect the earth. Could be doing things like cleaning up trash or even planting trees. Let me pull up the map. We are headed for Rainbow Way. Once we cross through, we will be right at our destination. Buffalo Niagara Waterkeepers. Along the way, we're gonna stop and do a craft with your teacher, Mrs. Hamilton. Oof, we have a lot to do. And oh my goodness! The books are coming! Okay, let's check out a few, Snoozer. Here you go, Snoozer. We are Water Protectors by Carol Lindstorm and Saving the Countryside by Linda Elovitz Marshall. Snoozer, those are two perfect books for today. Are you ready to take a closer look? I'm ready. Well, then let's get going. Three, two, one. Those are illustrations by Ilaria Urbanati. They're excellent. What is this story even about? It's longer than some of the other books we've checked out, but it is the story of Beatrix Potter, the woman who created the Peter Rabbit stories. Oh, I love Peter Rabbit. She made up Peter Rabbit? Correct. We learn about her creativity from a young age and a love for nature. As the story moves along, we see the challenges she faced being a woman and trying to have a career back in those days. What do you mean? When Beatrix grew up, she wasn't expected to have a career as an author, as men were mostly given those jobs. So she had a hard time having her work taken seriously. But she made a little bit of money drawing a character named Benjamin Bouncer. She took that money and spent it on publishing the Peter Rabbit stories, and it was a huge success and she kept on writing from there. More and more stories. I would like to write stories too. I have a lot of ideas. I want to write a story about a kangaroo. Okay, anything else? That's all I have so far. It is a kangaroo. I'm still working on the rest. We'll get back to that. Anyway, Beatrix also copyrighted her characters so people would know Peter Rabbit was her creation and it was protected. Am I copyrighted? I hope so. Anyhow, Beatrix spent a lot of time away from her roots in the countryside. And more and more, the countryside was being replaced by big buildings and industry. So Beatrix spent money buying land so she could create a safe space for nature and animals. That's a very nice thing to do. Yes, she used her wealth to make a positive impact and left a powerful legacy for future generations. So that's the story. What did you like about it? I am a big fan of the illustrations. Yes, the illustrations employ a watercolor style. Lots of color. And I also like to hear about how Beatrix came up with the ideas and wrote her own story. Well, I'm glad you liked it. On to book two. 
This is We Are Water Protectors. It is all about how important water is to our lives. This story takes on a mythical quality too, creating a bond or relationship between us and water from the point of birth. And the illustrations help to create the emotional connection and bring the words to life. They are very bold. And majestic. Checkers, majestic means beautiful. The story uses metaphor, which is a phrase to represent something. In this case, a black snake represents pollution, or humans destroying the Earth's water. Just like the girl in the story, we are called upon by the book to help fight the snake and work to protect the Earth, not on our own, but as a unified team working together for ourselves, the animals, the plants, everything. This book is very good. So if we clean up, we will defeat the snake? It isn't a simple challenge. It will take many years and a great number of people to join together to solve the problem. But we can start by playing our part to clean the earth and hopefully spread the message around to other people. Let's go. I'm glad we read those books. Me too, snoozer. But goodness, look at the time. We better head off to Mrs. Hamilton's class and get that craft done or we'll never have time to meet up with the water keepers. Let's go, snoozer. Hi, boys and girls! Would you like to do the Mrs. Hamilton craft just like me? Guess what? You can! Head to your local library for all the materials that we use in the craft. Plus, we have activity sheets, games, and a whole lot more. Your library might even have their very own snoozer! Come and see me! See you in five minutes. Go! Ah! Ah! Oh. oh, hi, Mrs. Hamilton! Snoozer, I was wondering if you were coming. Of course I am, Mrs. Hamilton! What are we making? Well, since we're learning all about recycling, I thought it would be fun to make an Earth Day hat to celebrate the wonderful world we live on. A real hat that I can wear? Yes! So, what you're gonna need is a blue and a green marker or a crayon. We're going to be coloring first and then cutting out and then I'll show you what it's going to look like. Let's go, go, go! All right. I think I'll start with the green. So I always start out by outlining what I'm going to color in. Do. All right, now we have to do the cutting. I can't wait to show the whole world on my head. All right, measure it. Try it out for size. So what do you think? Mrs. Hamilton, I have some news. What? I gave my Earth a face and a mustache. Oh my goodness. I love it though. Now we both have the world on our heads. Yahoo! That was a lot of fun, Mrs. Hamilton. Well, I had a great time with you, so enjoy your hat and I will see you next time. Goodbye! <laughs> No further explanation needed, Snoozer. Hey, Checkers! When are we going to get to the rainbow? That's a good question, Snoozer. We are at the rainbow right now. Jumpy Jolly Jaguars! Yahoo! Great. Going through the rainbow.
Alrighty, looks like we arrived just in time. Great! Let's go fight the Black Snake! Let's first listen to the instructions. My name is Claudia Rosen. I actually work for Buffalo Niagara Waterkeeper. So I'm really excited to be here today and to be helping lead this cleanup. Number one, safety. That's the most important thing that we're going to be doing today. When we're picking up litter, um, you need to wear gloves. These are our special fancy nitrile dipped gloves, the Clean Swell app. So that's on your phone if you'd like to download it. It's through the Ocean Conservancy. It's really cool. Uh, for example, if we find a straw, someone in my group who's wearing gloves picks up the straw, puts it in the garbage bag, and then the person who's collecting data can tap away and just say, okay, one straw. If you find two straws, you can tap twice. So that's the way that you can use this app. It's really cool. That information is absolutely critical for us and other organizations to understand. All right, snoozer, now that we've got our gloves on and we're ready to go, we know all the instructions. Let's go start our cleanup. Wow, they really did clean up a lot today. But now, it's time for us to go. Let the robot at your service. Here are today's book recommendations. Water is Water, a book about the water cycle by Miranda Paul. Digging for Words by Jose Gutierrez. Scrap Metal Swan. A Rover Cleanup Story by Joanne Linden, Sea Turtle Scientist by Stephen Swinburne, We Are Water Protectors by Carol Lindstrom, Saving the Countryside by Linda Marshall. That is all for now. Goodbye. That was a lot of fun. I feel really good about myself. It is fun to clean the earth! And it probably doesn't hurt being a robot vacuum while you're cleaning up, too. Absolutely! I'm thankful that I'm a robot vacuum on days like today. Oh, absolutely, snoozer. Well, that about does it. Time to get that file over to the Fuzzleland School. Hope they learned a little bit about recycling today. Hope they enjoy that lesson, too. And I think they will. Hey, snoozer, until next time. <laughs>